What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome to GeForce Garage. We have a special guest with us in the studio, Alana Pierce. Not only is Alana a writer for Sony Santa Monica Studio, but she's also a prolific content creator producing multiple podcasts and also streaming on Twitch. Today we'll have the pleasure of helping her build her dream PC. Well, welcome to GeForce Garage, Alana. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about your current gaming situation? So I game on everything. Uh, I have all of the consoles. I have a PC at home, but it is about six years old now, so effectively ancient. Yes, I would consider that ancient Pretty at much. this time. Yeah. <laughs> what video games have you been playing? Playing a lot of Diablo 4 at the moment. Playing Tears of the Kingdom. Just about to start Final Fantasy 16, which I'm very excited about. And super excited about some of the updates coming to Cyberpunk, which is very good timing for what we're doing here today. It's fantastic timing. Yes. Because I don't think that your current PC is probably ready for overdrive mode. Probably not. This one absolutely will be. And speaking of Cyberpunk, you actually play a character in Cyberpunk. Yes. I play a character called Lana that you can find if you play as a nomad, which is a wild, amazing thing I got to do. That's awesome. So we've been talking for a little while mm -hmm. about what you want out of a PC. You came to us with a suggestion that you wanted it to fit your decor of your new office. And so we threw around a couple of ideas about maybe building a PC inside of some furniture. And then we kind of leaned a little bit more towards like an art piece. And that's when we came across this wall mountable PC from CSFG called the Crow. It breaks that balance of like art piece and still a functional PC. Yeah, I've had this big blank wall space above my monitor this whole year, just <laughs> waiting for it to be there. And every now and then I'm like, I should hang some art there. And I'm like, I am hanging art there. I just don't have the art yet. So have you ever built a computer before? I've swapped parts. Okay. Uh, I've never built anything from scratch. And I'm actually really excited to do this, but also admittedly kind of intimidated. It's okay. I'm going to be here to yeah. judge everything that you do. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's dive into the specs a little bit. That way we can get the building. So the Crow is actually specially designed for water cooling and even comes with its own custom distro blocks for this case. The rest of the water cooling loop is a mixture of Barrow and EKWB. For the GPU, we're using an ASUS Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 4080 and that's going to be on top of an ROG Maximus Z790 Apex motherboard with a i9-13900K. We have 32 gigs of RAM that I've lightly modded to fit the theme of the build, and a 2 terabyte M.2, so you have plenty of space for your games and anything else that you may be working on. And it's all going to be powered by an ROG Strix 850 watt power supply that also have custom cables to fit the whole theme of the build. Cool. I'm very excited to see it all come together. All right, well, let's get the building. Let's do it. Okay, so it's finally all together. What did you think about the whole process? I think I found it easier to get things installed than I found changing parts of my current PC because of the open case design. Mm -hmm. It's not like the actual case that I'm trying to fight with. So that was really nice. It's like everything slotted in pretty simply. The most difficult part was getting the sleeves on the tubes. That probably took like 40 minutes straight, Yeah, I think. I think probably even a little bit longer because we yeah. had to do four, we had to reset one. Yes, so right. that uh, was super fiddly in a way that I never would have expected, but I think it's worth it because it adds like extra texture to the whole piece, which looks really pretty. So what do you think is your favorite part of the whole build? You pointed this out to me and now I can't stop looking at it. Is <laughs> I love the infinity mirrors on the fans. Mm -hmm. They're on the top here and on the sides and it looks like literally just a mirror going forever, which is such a cool design. I've never seen a water cool GPU, and I think this looks absolutely amazing. But I also love that you can see it through the CPU, so I think the way that the water cooling actually adds to the aesthetic, I just love. It's kind of like a water feature. Yeah, just due to the whole layout, you know, it is really difficult to get all the air out of a system like this. Yeah. But on the other side, now you have kind of like a waterfall feature, yeah. and it doesn't impact performance or anything. We have to mention these little vinyl God of War runes that you put on. Yeah. It's one of those things that like blends in super well, looks really cool, makes it more personal. 
you asked me what I would call it, and I said Fumble Winter, which is a God of War reference. And I feel like having all of these different pieces thematically just works so well. Again, you asked me my favorite thing, and I'm like, kind of the way it all comes together is my favorite thing. I don't know if that's cheating, No, but that's no, the honest No, I answer. think that having one whole piece, especially since it's kind of an art piece for your yeah. office, I think that works. I think it's time that we install Cyberpunk and see how well it performs. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to check out how well the PC runs Cyberpunk 2077 and its new overdrive mode to really push both the CPU and GPU to their limits. Alana has a 1440p monitor, so we've set our resolution to that. We also turn on DLSS3 to quality mode and enabled overdrive with everything else set to ultra. During firefights, we stayed around 100 FPS, if not exceeding that. And thanks to both the CPU and GPU being water cooled, both float around 60 Celsius. And that's what the fans turned down a little to help with noise. Well, thank you very much for coming to GeForce Garage. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. And why are you thanking me? <laughs> well, you know, you gave us your time. Hopefully we gave you some knowledge in the PC modding world. You did, I feel more confident, I think, going forward. And I get to take this beautiful art piece home and I'm very excited about that. I cannot wait to see what it looks like in my office. Thanks for watching. Since filming, we delivered the PC and wall mounted it as intended. Alana's new rig looks perfect in her office. Special thanks to our partners who made this possible, Intel and ASUS for some of the system components, CSFG for the amazing wall chassis, and EKWB for the water cooling support. If you want to see more of Alana, you can catch her streaming on her Twitch channel, Charlanazard. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, you can hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you for the next one.